Hi my lovies, welcome back to my channel. We are back to do the review on the Born Pretty items that I got sent to me. So first of all we're going to put some liquid latex on. And I was just testing it out around my glitter. Now I did drop a little bit on my nail there when I opened the bottle and as you can see I dropped some over here. But when I tried to rub that off, see it's doing it on this nail too, when I tried to rub that off it picked the nail polish up for some reason. Whoops. I am really, really, really clumsy tonight and I'm so sorry for that guys. I um, had to stop my arthritis medication so... I'm going to put a layer of glitter on this one. I just want to test it and see how well it um, peels off with glitter on it. So if you were to do a... I'm just going to go a bit over my nail. So if you were to do um, sponge the glitter on, how well that would come off. So we've done that one. And then the next one, we're going to put some purple... Um, some purple snowflakes. Let's just get that on here. Scrape it off. Use my Starry Sky stamper. And we're just going to stamp that down. I don't want to try and line it up. I just want to stamp it down. So, it, you know, it's going to put a... um. What are we going to put? Oh, I might put that on there. Because I really like that image. This cute Christmas tree. We're going to stick on the other nail. And that one I'm going to have to be a bit careful on putting on. Wow. That came out really well. And then we're going to remove it. Just to see how well it removes. It is a real thin consistency like I showed in the review so that is really really thin which makes it easy to uh, apply so let's just quickly peel this off so we can see how wow that is easy to peel off let's see if it peels off in one pull pretty much it likes to grab right in close to the nail but it's really easy to remove okay now let's try this one i love that it's odorless as well so it's the born pretty I'll show you the box in a second. That came off really well. Just little leftover bits. Little straggly bits. And then let's try the glitter. Uh, that did not as well, but we'll get in there with the tweezers. Um... I don't know about it with glitter. Where I went over the glitter, went up onto my cuticle area with the glitter, it doesn't seem to want to come off. So we might just have to remove that with a little bit of acetone. So let's get in there. So if you were going to sponge glitter over, I probably wouldn't use that. Because the latex is still under it, it just doesn't pick up. It doesn't want to... um. Everywhere where I've got the glitter on my cuticle, I didn't want some swatches using some Insta Dry. I have got Born Pretty, um, I have got Born Pretty stamping polishes coming because the ones I've got are nearly run out and they would probably dry out too fast in this weather anyway. So, first of all, I want to use a blue hollow and I really want to see what these snowflakes will look like on the blue hollow. So, let's pick up that first with my stamper i could have cleaned that off beforehand and i'm just stamping these on swatch sticks because my fingers are so nubby at the moment my nails are really really short that looks really pretty might look better in a silver okay let's see what else we've got on here just because it shows up better i'm going to um pick up in a white insta dry i do have mdu in white but i don't like it for some reason i really don't like it and i was supposed to show you the box sorry guys so it is the Born Pretty Odorless, Odor Free Latex Cuticle Guard in 10 mils, and that's the ingredients. Okie dokie. Now we are going to pick up a white Santa in Insta Dry. And 
and just put that in the middle. That came out really good. Right, let's pick up that and we'll put that on a blue back background. Sorry, I am so tongue tied. That didn't pick up very well. That was me though, I didn't clean the stamper off until just before I went to go and pick it up, I noticed I hadn't cleaned it. So that was totally me. Right, that's white Insta Dry. It's burning hot today, so I need to hurry and pick them up. Okie dokie. We'll pick up a couple more. I do want to pick up this up here and stamp it on a white. And I'll do it with a purple. Um, let's pick up this here. So let's hit the bottle I just picked it up with. Oh yeah, that came out really cool. Try and line it up straight. Um, this way. So that's hit the bottle. Purple, stamped over a white. Whoops. Okay, let's switch out the plates. So that was BPL032. And now we're going to be with BP... BPL... BPL 054. Just give my stamper a quick wipe. Okay, let's pick up a white. Let's pick up a white image and put it on a hollow pink background. Oh, that looks pretty. this image. These plates pick up really, really, really well. Um, I am really impressed with these. I've got other plates like this and these beat them hands down. Right, let's get a black and white and let's pick up that image right there. Wow, that looks cool. That looks sort of like a tuxedo. Let's do one more, because as you can see, these plates are really, really, really good. Let's do one in a black. And let's do that that way. Oh, yeah. I like that. Might not be able to see that. I'll do my best. So I'm going to pause it, clean up, and then show you guys what everything looked like. So we're going to zoom you in a little. This, these are the swatches that I did of the Born Pretty plates. I absolutely love the, the um, geometric shapes and the Christmas designs. I am a big Christmas plate fan. Um, these all picked up really well. And these are the ones that are on my nails. So I absolutely love it. That cuticle, the cuticle guard is awesome. It doesn't smell. Um, I just have to get used to using it because you can't get it too close to your cuticle, to your nail. Um, it tends to pick up the nail polish. But other than that, I would recommend it. And I really love these plates. And thank you to Born Pretty Store for sending me these for review. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.